I want to teach you about four insects that affect passion fruits. These insects, they damage passion fruit severely, mostly at the flowering and fruiting age. So let us see these four insects in passion fruits. The first one is fruit fly. The second one is mites. The third one is mainly bugs. And the fourth one are the aphids. Those are the factors. They transfer diseases such as the woodiness from one plant to another. So let us discuss each of these insects and how they affect this plant. And we are going to start. Let us start with aphids. When we talk about aphids, these are the small insects. Uh, they are soft bodies. They can be black, they can be brown, or they can be green. Uh, this one attack the, the, the young passion fruits or old. It will attack the leaves of the fruits. And eye infestation of these aphids, it will uh, produce a soot like it is called uh, anidium, which when they produced, it will form a sooty gaba in the uh, leaves of the fruits. And this will uh, prevent photosynthesis in taking place in that leaf of the fruit. And it will affect the production. It leads to the standard growth of the plant. Another thing, our infestation, if there is uh, woodness in the farm, Aphids are responsible, they affect us, uh, especially green aphids. If there is an, in, uh, a plant affected with woodiness, it will be very easy for green aphids to, be, to transfer the disease from one plant to another plant. These are the factors. When we talk about aphids, those are the factors that transfer most of the diseases, even, uh, even other diseases such as uh, brown spots it can transfer from one plant to another one how can you control these habits you are supposed to spray insecticides i personally i am using pentagon from green life Use so let us see how these mites affect the the plant so this is a healthy young passion fruit and this is affected passion fruit this is what will happen when the mites are present in your farm. These are healthy leaves. You will see that the leaves, the even the fine are very clear. You can see the leaf is very good. But in fact, that one, it will attack the, the leaves of the of the young fruit, like this one. Not even young, even a old plant. But it will attack the tender part, this soft part of the, of the fruit. So it will live below these leaves. And it will suck the sap, so they are molds are piercing. It will suck the sap of this leaf, and it will lead to the uh, wrinkling of these leaves. So it will lose the shape, and this is what will happen. This is how it will look like. Even the growing buds will not be having any shape of the growth. You will see even at the top, it is like there is something that has uh, scratched the top of the of the bud. And even the, the leaves will be wrinkled like this one. And the fruits will be looking like this. When you see the, the, the fruit of the affected fruit, you will see uh, there, there are some marks, which it shows there is something that has a scratch. So it looks like the marks of the scratch, they will lose the shape. And the, the, this is for the healthy fruit. This is the healthy fruit. And this is affected fruit. And this is how these mites affect the fruit. How will you control these mites? So, to control these mites, uh, you are supposed to use the metacides. And you are supposed uh, to use it in a routine management. It is not just you wait until you see the mites and then you go and buy just the chemical. So, you are supposed to have the chemical in the room. And then you follow the routine. You ensure that if you are spraying it in a weekly basis, depend on the PHI or the chemical. The chemical which you suggest uh, show if you are spraying after 14 days or, 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 or 7 days. So you are supposed to use the metacides. These metacides are like Agrimec for Genagro, Amphimec, 
uh, for Amiran Company and Profile for Green Life Company, depending on which company you are using. But ensure that the content which is being used in that chemical is the apamectin. And that is the best for, for the mites. Again, let me show you how these mealy bugs affect the fruit, the passion fruit. This is the uh, healthy passion fruit. And these are the fruits. This is the fruit, this is another fruit, and this is the, the flower. So these mealy bugs will live in this uh, flower, inside the flower. When the flower has just opened, this is a flower that has opened. And this is at the airs in the flower. So if you open this flower or when you see this air, it has some crawling insects which they are moving in these fruits. These are now how these insects look like. So what will happen in these insects? They will lay eggs inside these airy parts of the flowers. And after some time, these larvae will bite the younger fruits. And you'll find in a younger fruit, a tender fruit, you'll find there are some dots like holes in that fruit there are very many and it will affect uh, the shape of these fruits you'll find that these fruits at some point when you uh, crack it inside it it will be affected so it will affect the tissues of the cup of the of the fruit and this is how these mealy bugs affect the, the fruits they affect us they can transfer disease from one a plant to another, such as the witness virus. They can transfer the witness virus from one uh, plant which is affected to a, another plant which is which is not affected. So how do you control these mildly bugs? You use uh, insecticides. Mostly I use uh, Profile from Green Life Company because profile is both insect, uh, insecticides and meticides and it can control these mildly bugs. So ensure that you control it when you observe that they are, that, that they are present in your farm, ensure that you, 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 you spray and ensure that you spray these flowers because this is where they live and it will affect the, the fruits of the, of the pipe of super both fruit flies. Oh, are these fruit flies? Uh, these fruit flies, they are just like house flies, but they are small in sizes. They majorly suck some in the young uh, fruits. When the, they infest in in the fruit when they are very young, it will serve the sap and it will lead to the deformation of the fruits. You will find the shape of the fruit is damaged. It will affect the cells of the fruits and to lead to the deformation. An infestation of these uh, fruit flies, it will lead to the immature, uh, the, the falling of immature fruits. There will be, most of the fruits are dropping while they are immature. And even some flowers, it will drop. You are going to learn more. And if you find my information helpful, uh, subscribe, comment, and like and share that you put a comment so that I can know uh, where you are adjust. Thank you for watching.